Oh, so you. Hey, camera. You stay right here. Hi, Mom. No, why me? <laughs> you're fine. Okay. So. I look so weak. Oh, wait, you're not in that. Wait a minute. I think I'm in there. It's just so if you lean, go. So you closer. Like, I'm okay, all okay. You, know what, you could turn your phone a little bit more this way, and I can move a little bit closer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's that's better. So it shouldn't be a long one. We I just wrote down two questions. You have a 60 then... second extra. <laughs> and because um, I figured your explanations would probably be like you know a little thorough, so she has two. <laughs> well, no, have... but it's a forensic, so and you have so much knowledge in it, so. Well, I actually have. I actually have uh, um, I had surgery, uh, dental surgery, and I actually have um, human tissue in my in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Really? Like a, a corpse. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's fascinating stuff. That is. That is wow. So you might say I'm walking with the dead. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that Mr. in dentally they use um, cat guts. Yeah. Yeah, but they also get to replace tissue to get. It Growing mm -hmm. they will use corpse. Mm -hmm. So I asked my de the, uh, the uh, dental surgeon, um, his name is Nakata. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it for 40 years in Fresno. I said, So what number am I? Like, I'm like 1,576 or something. Oh, wow. Um, surgeries. And he says, Yeah, we still have the, in the top 10, we still have two or three that are still around. Oh, wow. I said, so where do you keep the corpse? You know, could you use a lot of tissue. You know? mm -hmm. so that's even classified. Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. That so when I die, I'll do my, do my body yeah. to him, and he can put me in a closet. Oh, wow. Tissue. Are you really? No. <laughs> oh, almost like you're, because some people do. Because in oh, our lab, we have heads yeah. that have cadaver teeth. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't be doing my, 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 my body for science that way. No, yeah. I'm just going to be buried. Mm -hmm. Like normal people. <laughs> yeah, normal, yeah. Actually, my wife will just be buried. I, we're not going to even be cremated. We're just going to be buried. Yeah. No, no ashes to talk to the city. Never seen that movie either. The Great Lebowski. No. I have seen some of it, but. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's profane, mm -hmm. but funny as all get out. Mm -hmm. There's a part in there where their, their friend dies. Mm -hmm. Jar of ashes of the gun agreement out to the, the seashore, and the, he's standing on a rock and throws it. <laughs> the wind blows it back. Oh, <laughs> oh I have seen that. It's funny. That actually happened to me once. Oh, no. Really? It was in an autopsy. Oh, oh and, really? Yeah, and when you're in an autopsy, you need to pay attention. What's going on? And I was talking to Anyway, I, the guy was taking the saw to cut the top of the head, oh. and I was standing on this side. and. Anyway, I, I just turned and I was talking and I almost like a splattered with a piece of the bone frame in my mouth, oh. spraying everywhere, I'm spitting it out. And, uh -oh. I just wasn't paying attention. You know. We all could laugh about that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So our topic. Yes. Is on forensic dentistry. Ah. That's AKA odontology. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess my first question would be. Um, can you tell us of some cases you've been involved with where identifying a body was difficult and all there was to go by was teeth? Just the teeth? Yeah. How about other bones? Usually if there's teeth, there's usually other. Sometimes well, there are bones with it, but um, yeah. you know how it's hard to identify? Yeah, so they, will, they always take the, 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 the teeth and to identify yeah. it. Yeah, at what point like in that stage would you call an odontologist or what would be the process that you know? Well, in, in especially in cold cases where we know there's bodies buried somewhere mm -hmm. and then they find them 20 years later. Like in the case of these, the five boys in South Korea, mm -hmm. um, we call them the frog boys. Uh, they, went, they went out with each other eight through 12. Mm -hmm. They went looking for frogs one day, and they all just disappeared the same day. They were just gone. Mm -hmm. And they find them, and they looked everywhere. All over South Korea they looked. But in the military, they still couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. And 10 years went by, and there was a man walking along this mountainside on this path where the boys had been, and it had been raining a lot. Mm -hmm. And there was a skull um, lying on the pathway, mm -hmm. which led to a shallow grave where there were five little boys. And of course, now in that case, they still had their partial their, their clothes, um, but the, you know the bodies had decomposed. Mm -hmm. 
So to identify them, they had to look at their teeth. Of course, they couldn't just look at their bones. They had to look at their teeth specifically because they had the same records as them. And dental records are really important mm -hmm. in identifying corpses. I mean, for me, it'd be easy because I have so many big teeth and fillings and things. It's just <laughs> not a problem. Yeah. And most people, we have dental records. Mm -hmm. So if, if a body's been burned badly, you can't tell who it was. And there's no DNA. And you, you look at the dental records, and almost always they, they can confirm through dental records mm -hmm. people's teeth, uh, people's identity. <clears throat> so that's, that's a good thing. In this case, they identified the boys. And then I was involved with the case where I had a chance to opine without what kind, you know, how many people did the killings. You know, there were five little boys, how many people were involved. I said there was one, just one mm -hmm. guy. This would just be, you know, you could tell the way they were killed. And you could tell um, what the target was, mm -hmm. and the five, but the other four were just collateral damage. And they didn't want to hear that, but that was the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, these are terrible things, but so, um, yeah, when there's a lot of burning, or uh, say there's an airplane, airplane crash, high speed, and there's not much left of the of it now. I saw a pilot one time that crashed his jet plane accidentally. I mean, he had been smooshed. You know, the, he hit mm -hmm. so hard that you know his head was down to his feet. Oh, you know, he was compacted oh. that much. Oh wow! Yeah, not not, not pretty. So, uh, you know, we're very grateful to have dental records in today's world. Uh, mm -hmm. They're very useful in solving criminal mm -hmm. identities. Yeah. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Bring in the munchkins. This is my youngest granddaughter. A granddaughter. Hello, granddaughter. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Look at that. Look at that happy <laughs> face. A happy granddaughter. And I can't imagine who's standing beside you. That would be your daughter. Yes. Yes. One of my a, twins. I would say there's a little bit of resemblance there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, sweetheart. And what's your name? His name is Maria. Maria. Oh, does she love Hello. Grandma or what? Now, who's behind you right here? Dad. Dad, Daddy. Ah, there's the dad right Daddy. there. Daddy. Well, there's a little bit of resemblance of dad there, too. <laughs> sure. Aww. Yeah. Isn't it great having kids? It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Uh, you have a good one. Okay, oh, so, so we're still recording. Oh, it's okay. okay. Yeah, we can cut and paste. Cut and delete. <laughs> cut and delete. Yeah. Delete, delete, delete. Okay. So, um, so I guess my second one would be um, how important would you say is forensic dentistry? Oh, critical. Forensic dentistry is absolutely critical in, in this spectrum of uh, forensic studies. Mm -hmm. So in forensics, we go from the hard science of working in crime labs and uh, looking at serology, toxicology, and dental work, and so on, fingerprints, document examination, all the way through forensic psychology, which mm -hmm. is the stuff I do. But it is a key component to um, in the investigation of, of criminal activities. Um, and so we're... It's, it's, we get these experts who do nothing but testify. They, they examine corpses and they examine people's teeth. And they, they'll testify in court regarding to the, you know, the 